What is going on guys? Today we are going to clean the boat carpet. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I've gotten a couple questions on how to safely clean the boat carpet without ruining the adhesive uh, underneath that holds down the carpet and without kind of tearing it up. If you do it wrong, it can kind of come out really matted and it'll start peeling up and you don't want that. So today we're going to do it the right way and I'll show you how to do that. So the things that you're going to need, you're going to want Dawn dish soap. You're going to want a hard bristled brush for those spots and stains. Then you're going to want a medium bristled brush, a shop back, and a bucket, and some kind of power source to turn the shop back on. But the first thing is that you guys are going to want to do is you want to go in and you're going to want to shop back the boat, and you're going to want to take out all those baits that you have sitting around, throw them into a bucket, worry about them later get those up off the carpet so they're not in your way for later you don't get them all soaking wet with all those hooks that you've let dried out and stuff like that so let's get those out of the boat let's see what we got for baits in our compartment anyway so let's get to that so a little bucket or something what we got here we got some cross robo worms you know about robo worms what else we got here we got the general berkeley general we got the shaky snake but berkeley let's get all this stuff out of here throw it into a bucket some more power swimmers, flipping jigs, little swim baits, all kinds of stuff. Got all this stuff from yesterday. We're out on the Delta. It was fun. We got fish. Get all this stuff out of there. Get in there, get it all out. Some more over there, we'll get all that out of there. Get all this stuff out of here. What you know about these? Some pop art. Using some of those for some striper yesterday on the Delta. Little spoons. Get all that stuff out of there. Smelly jelly. Get all out of there. Cans and whatnot. Get it all out. Get everything out. All the stuff that you can pick up by hand. Get it out so it's not in your way later. Alrighty. Now we got all the stuff out of there. You're gonna want to vacuum. You're gonna vacuum your entire boat. The reason you're doing this. You want to get all that loose stuff off of the carpet because when you put the water on it and all that, it's going to add an extra mess. You don't need it. You don't want it. Get all that stuff off of there. Hook your thing up to an extension cord. Get the shot back. Get it all clean. And we'll go from there. But guys, if you want to keep seeing on how to properly clean your boat carpet without harming it, make it all fluffy again like it's brand new, subscribe, click the link below, and keep watching this video. Appreciate you guys. Every like counts, every subscriber counts. Love you guys. So, further ado, let's jump in and get this thing vacuumed out. Check to see if your shot vac is clean. We need to dump this thing out. It's a little dirty, blowing stuff everywhere. Check that first. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We got a vacuum. Tana, stop. Sorry if you hear the background noise of a chainsaw or something. There's someone happens to do it right as we're deciding to make a video. Come on. Perfect timing. Anyways. That being said, we got it vacuumed. Now, we're gonna put the water on her. Guys, I didn't mention it, but I should mention it now. Make sure you lift the front of your boat. You want it lifted, or even hook it up to your truck, get it on a hill, or whatever. Lift it up so the back drains out. When you put the water on there, you want it to drain out as you're doing it. You don't want to get all filled with water and stuff. It's not fun. Get it on an angle. So the water runs out again. Chalk your tires. If you don't do it with your truck and you hook it up to the hitch, chalk your tires. You don't want to roll away on you. That would suck. Yeah, that would not be fun. Haven't done it, but yeah, just don't do it. Chalk your tires, okay? Get the deck nice and saturated. We're gonna get the hose, get it all nice and wet, and we'll go from there. Alrighty. Yeah. 
Get her nice and washed out. Alrighty, now the deck's nice and white. Wow. Now the deck is nice and wet. Get yourself a little bucket. You can put some soap in it. Do not put too much soap. You do not want to do that. It'll get nice and weird and gross and I don't know. You just, it's weird. It dries weird. Do not put too much soap. We're going to put a little bit of soap in a bucket with water. You want to dilute it. I promise you this way will not hurt your carpet at all. A lot of stuff out there can actually harm your carpet with the sun it'll make it fade quicker it'll actually start pulling up the glue will detach from the fiberglass it'll start pulling up it's not good so be careful on what soap you use I've always used Dawn okay guys you can use it simple green works too Dawn I found is the best it pulls out most of the stuff in the carpet some of those harder stains you can actually use Windex for those harder stains that won't get hurt with the sun but again water and Windex will help get those harder blood stains and stuff like that out don't put too much that being said we're gonna mix some and you're gonna get the bucket, you're gonna get your bigger brush, and you're just gonna kinda scrub your surface of your carpet very well. Those harder marks, like those stains and stuff, get your little hand brush here, this is a hard bristle one, and just get on your hand and knees and really scrub those spots. You, again, you won't hurt your carpet doing it this way, so let's get it going. All right, this is what I'm using for my brush, just regular car one, doesn't matter. I said a little bit of soap, so I got a two gallon bucket, Okay, I'm just gonna put like less than a cup, but actually less than a half a cup, just very little. Just, just like that. That's all you're gonna do. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's not much soap in the bucket at all. Again, you do not wanna put a lot. It'll get weird on your carpet. All right, what you guys can do too, is get your troll motor, just drop it a little bit, so it's kinda out of the way. Just set mine like that. So it doesn't hurt nothing. Okay, just like that, scrub away. All right, now that we've got the deck nice and soapy with the bigger brush, you're gonna get your hard brush and you're gonna find those little spots that you want out of there, those stain and stuff, and get on your knees and scrape those real well. Leave the deck soapy right now at this moment. Um, you'll wash this off when you're done with the whole boat, then you'll go back with the, the hose and wash it all off. Just kind of let it sit there on the front for a little bit. Let it really pull stuff out of there. Um, yeah, let's keep going. You can dip this in there, it's not a big deal. Find those stains. There's one right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Might be in the way with the sun. Scrub away. You don't want to use that bigger brush and you really want to get in there. You can use this the entire time. It doesn't matter. It'll take longer, but it's up to you. do not matter. And just because mine is really dirty, I am going to use that little brush. Use a big brush for most stuff, but I'm gonna use that little one to really get in there and take some of that grime out of there. So, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. It was dirty. It's hot out. Man, I'm sweating. Only bummer with this is make sure you put your boat in the sun when you do this so it dries out. The bummer part is it's hot on you. I'm sweating. All right, let's keep going. On to the next part. The bottom and the back deck. Let's go. Guys, another thing. Don't sit there and scrub too much at one spot. Um, you don't want to like pull the carpet up right there. Just go over it real lightly. Don't put much pressure. Okay? Just real lightly. Quick. Easy. All right. We finished the scrubbing. Oh, God. It's hot. Oh, let's get out of the boat without falling. Okay, now you can get your hose, spray everything off real good. This is where you're gonna saturate your boat. You wanna spray it off real, real good. It doesn't matter how much you get it, you ain't gonna hurt nothing. Spray it off till you see no more suds. All right guys, that is how I clean my boat carpet. You guys can do it on your boats, on any carpet of a boat, it works. I mean, you can even do it in your house carpet, it doesn't matter. Anywhere it works, it won't hurt anything. Let that puppy dry. You can open those boxes out. Open them up, if I can get it open. 
open them up. It'll help the water drain off into your gunnel, into the bottom of the boat, drain off the boat, leave them open once most of the water's out of there. Close them up, let the sun beat down on it, and dry the rest of the way. Hope that helps you guys keep your boats nice and clean. This quarantine thing really sucks, so hopefully this gives you something to do. Good luck guys, have fun. Thank you.